Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 10th, 2024. Well, I'm going to apologize right now, guys. I may be a, this video may be a little bit late. Um, just to let you know, I have seen uh, doctors twice yesterday, but I am so um, bound up in my back today that it took me even longer to get to my desk today. So there will be no blog, um, but um, I am here. So let's make the most of it out of today. First off, let's take a look at what happened in Asian markets last night. Asian markets, um, a bit mixed. We had um, Australia, Hong Kong, and Shanghai lower, while Japan and South Korea were higher last night. And uh, partially the reason was um, China missed on its uh, CPI data. It came in a little bit lighter than expected and um, really points to that weakening economy there in China. Um, also, um, we saw some really ugly shipping numbers out of China yesterday that uh, are continuing to show that their economy is really in trouble. And I think probably one of the major global economies that's likely to slip into recession soon. Let's take a look at uh, European markets here. European markets are green across the board this morning, trying to rebound a little bit from yesterday. They ended up having a decidedly bearish close, but trying to pick up with a little concern, a little attention to what comes next in the US CPI data. Um, of course, here in the United States, uh, we are essentially flat, except in the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ continues to pump up. We continue to see new record highs in uh, the, those tech sector stocks. Um, pretty much everything else not moving much. So um, we'll see how that plays out for today as we have another hurry up and wait day on CPI in the beginning of earnings. Let's take a look at what's going on in oil. Oil, um, flat this morning. Uh, right now, um, at this very second, it's been higher, but at this very second, oil futures are down four cents at 81.37 a barrel. Brent is down 12 cents at 84.54 a barrel. And natural gas is just a little bit higher up, um, a little over two cents this morning. If we take a look at gold, gold's uh, trying to rebound after a pretty rough day um, yesterday where we sold off and then started to come back, but um, it is a little bit higher this morning. Right now, um, gold futures, just a second here, um, up $11.30 an ounce. It has been higher than that so far this morning. Silver is also just a tiny bit higher here this morning and copper copper showing a little bit lower platinum and palladium are also higher so trying to move up there crypto is making a upside move here this morning as well with bitcoin up 887 dollars a coin trying to rebound we're at 58,645 trying to uh, come back up here just a little bit and i'm guessing that's going to have a lot to do with how the dollar reacts if we take a look at bonds this morning well those two-year bonds have eased a little bit from yesterday um, yesterday they were creeping up all afternoon um, we are now at 4.62 percent on the two-year the 10-year 4.27 percent and the 30-year is at 4.46 percent a lot of uncertainty as we head into that cpi number and that's pretty understandable Let's take a look at, um, whoops, um, excuse me. Um, let's take a look at um, these US futures. They are fluctuating around here just a little bit this morning and uh, picking back up in uh, to some of the green right now. They've been bouncing all over the place. So um, we'll have to keep a close eye on that a little bit that uncertainty about what comes next in here uh, probably has buyers and sellers uh, both a little bit uh, concerned and maybe wanting to just stand on the sidelines today. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? 
Let's buckle up and let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, taking a look at the diamonds here, you can see this choppy, junky chart um, continues to build out this consolidation. And you guys know that I have mentioned that the two to three weeks heading into the next round of earnings is typically very choppy, very light volume. Um, and that's exactly what we've been getting here. And the thing is, uh, this is very normal. Um, we the, we see this an, uh, an awful lot. So um, we were really seeing a, a very weak mark of breath. And we'll take a look at that here in, in a bit because of the corporate buyback restrictions um, here in the market so if we were to look at the diamonds here right now i've got to say this is still an upside trend here and this is still bullish in the chart and if the bulls can find enough inspiration well first thing we need to do is break out of that resistance there and you can see these two uh candles here are very uncertain candles kind of a shooting star top spinning top doji we're just not getting a whole lot of energy in the market um, although that was a follow-through to the downside um, i'm not going to count that as being uh, too terribly bearish um, overall there just was no energy in it so if the bulls can find that inspiration and push on up here then we'll start looking at these areas up here see if we can break on higher and then of course right up here where we can try to attack the all-time highs if the bears however find inspiration the worry i think would be if we break this price support and trend so breaking down below there if the bears can find enough energy um, i would be a little bit hesitant to believe that they're going to do that today unless something really bad happens um, in the world because we're it's just a hurry up and wait for these numbers so watch that carefully here if that were to occur that would raise a little bit of fear and then of course breaking down below there would certainly make um, um, everyone stand up and pay attention with some concern in the market breaking down below here would really be um, uh, significant i think in the sentiment of the market if we take a look at our spy spy nothing to worry about here spy continues to be just um, amazingly strong big tech doing all of the work here um, very little of the market is enjoying the bullishness that those tech giants are and as you can see new record highs yesterday and if they can get some bullish moves going here in the pre-market new record highs likely this morning blue sky above will now be one two three four five six seven straight days um, in the upside move we should be looking for a rest or pullback at any time but right now the chase in the tech giants it doesn't seem to be um, any interest or um, any clue of stopping at the moment. If it does find that bearishness, then starting to pull back here might raise some concern because I think what we're seeing here is an awful lot of retail chasing. And if it were to start to sell off, I think everyone would be running for the door at the same time trying to protect themselves. And I do expect some kind of big move, and I'll explain that here um, in just a little bit. But if this were to push down and break down through here, that's where some concern would be raised in the market. And coming back into here for that next level of price support um, would, would be logical, but maybe raise lots of um, concern in the market. You want to keep in mind, uh, we're significantly elevated from the two, uh, excuse me, our 50 day moving average and our QQQ as well. Um, unbelievably, um, separated here. We, um, have had just an amazing run to the upside here and almost all of it has been just the seven tech giants um, and making that move happen. So blue skies, um, every reason to believe we're going to have blue skies at the open today. And um, 
if the bears start pushing back, you can see the next area of price support would be down in here. Right along that trend. Holding there, I don't think will cause any major uh, concern. It would be breaking that level that would really raise some concern in the market. But as you can see right now, bulls are definitely in control here. When we take a look at the Russell, the poor Russell um, struggles, struggles, and struggles in here because it doesn't have any big tech giants um, to help it out. And as you can see, we continue to. Um, language here no one no one cares it's it's kind of like the um the you know the ignored um stepchild out there that nobody seems to be too concerned or worried about here in the chart if you take a look in here um, if the bulls were to find inspiration breaking back up in here into that downtrend would be uh, of interest and then pushing on higher here um to test that resistance and then of course we have that secondary downtrend just above that if uh, the uh, bears were to find inspiration here today notice we've got this little tiny upside trend and if they were to attack that and break down below that may raise a little bit of concern in the market but i gotta tell you with the way the market's traded the last few days i would suspect Today is going to be a very light and choppy day again today. Looking at our VIX, our VIX, well, we just continue to um, sit down here and no fear, no concern here at all in the VIX. Um, Uber confidence in just seven companies leading the markets. Um, we'll want to watch this pretty closely if if the bears find inspiration and break up here that's the first step and then holding a higher low that's where some selling or real concern would come in but right now there's nothing in this that suggests that as a matter of fact i think if the bulls do have an opportunity to surge here um, on any date and maybe we will tomorrow then we could see that vix fall um, into new lows new recent lows here in uh, the market. If we take a look at our um, T2122, now our T2122 shows us that problem that we had yesterday. We get that impression that everything is bullish. And yet here we have more stocks selling than going up. T2122 down here around uh, 1920 in this. What that means is, is if the bulls find inspiration, we've opened a pretty good opportunity for a good upside move. If the bears find inspiration, well, we certainly have downside opportunity as well. Um, once again, I'm kind of expecting probably light choppy action here in the market as we wait. But if we take a look at our T2108, our T2108 pulled back yesterday. Uh, the percentage of stocks holding above their 40-day diminished a little bit. Nothing to be terribly worried about. As you can see, it's mostly just chop in here. We were uh, stuck between some support in here and some resistance in here. I will say, however, that 33, 34% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average is not a bullish case for the market and really shows how, um, how disjointed we are with just a very select few stocks uh, making moves um, in the market and mostly tech giants. If we take a look at our T2107, uh, same thing is true. T2107 broke on down, made a new low yesterday. So the percentage of stocks above the 200 day slipping, uh, coming in here about 49% of the stock. So back below that 50% area here on t2107 yesterday again pretty tough to make a bullish case for the market when we see that happening and our t2101 here's our culprit we have no energy in the market if it's not for just a very select handful of stocks 
um, you can see here that the breadth of the market is extremely weak. And this is one of the reasons I'm expecting some kind of a big move in the market. We have waited and waited and waited now uh, for about three weeks to get something going um, in earnings. So once we hit the CPI number, this, these, this earnings season, we could see this breadth increase dramatically coming in here, depending on how those data points um, uh, align for the bulls or the bears. Now remember, this can rise on a bearish move and rise on a bear bullish move. What it's really doing is showing us momentum of, a, of the move. And you can see right now, we have no momentum in the market to speak of. And um, um, so I'm expecting a pretty substantial move coming in the market once this kicks back in. When that's going to occur, I don't know. Fingers crossed that it'll happen here. Um, at least by next week, we'll get some action coming back into the market and maybe a little bit more enthusiasm. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar, we've got a few things to be concerned with here this morning. First, we're going to get mortgage applications this morning. Jerome Powell will be speaking again. To, it'll be for the House tomorrow, so another day of grilling in um, Congress there. We've got um, wholesale inventories uh, that will be out, and they're looking for those to stay flat. We'll see how that works out here today. Um, we've got uh, petroleum status. We've already seen some uh, numbers, some expectations that our numbers have declined, that those stockpiles have declined. So watch that carefully. That could have an impact on oil today. We've got a couple of bond auctions, the 10-year being the most notable. We've got Goolsby, Bauman that will be speaking, and Cook will be after the bell today. Looking into Thursday, this is what everybody's going to be thinking about and may produce some pretty big moves. That's going to be that CPI tomorrow morning before the bell. So remember this, no matter what you trade today, you're not going to have much control of that first thing tomorrow morning. We could get big moves to the upside, big moves to the downside. It could also turn out to be a non-event. And we just continue to chop as we wait for the beginning of big bank earnings on Friday. And then taking a look, we've got jobless claims, natural gas in here. We've got Bostic that will be speaking. We've got some bond auctions. Um, more Fed speak. We've got a 30-year bond auction treasury statement and the Fed balance sheet at the end of the day. And then remember on Friday, we were facing the PPI number as well. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar here for today. And on the earnings calendar, we really don't have much going on here, uh, which is pretty normal. As a matter of fact, there is no um, uh, notable earnings for this morning, but this afternoon we're gonna look at um, AZZ. They will be reporting this afternoon. Uh, PSMT will be reporting this afternoon, and the old WD-40 will be um, reporting this afternoon. So keep an eye on those. But other than that, we have no earnings um, scheduled for the pre-market today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much to everyone who does do that. I truly appreciate it. And I know it gets monotonous doing that day after day after day, but it does really, uh, it is really appreciated for the effort it takes to pull this stuff together and put these videos out. So thank you very much for everyone who does take the time. Let's take a look um, at 
some stocks setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you need to do your own due diligence be very very careful in the market and remember that we've got some economic numbers that can really make a change here whether it be bullish bearish or whatever here in the market now if we take a look right in here let's grab um um, grab a couple of charts here that I think we want to pay attention to first um, I think we've got to continue to pay attention here to the dollar the dollar has been fluctuating here quite a bit we had a pretty substantial pullback in this breaking some support this rally back up could set up a possible failure so if we see the dollar weakened, I would watch those commodity prices, oil, I would watch things in steel, I would watch things in copper and gold and silver to potentially rally and they could rally strong if this fails. And you notice what I just drew there is a bit of a head and shoulders topping pattern in the market. Now on the other side, if um, we see that dollar come back up and actually hold a higher low well then things turn um, to the ugly on those co commodities and we might see those commodities begin to fail but right now kind of looking at this as a potential failure pattern so keep a close eye on that um, if we continue to see weakness here in the dollar now if we do see weakness in the dollar keep an eye on, on those bonds as well notice as the dollar has weakened the bond yield uh, yields have been falling and bond prices have been going up so TLT here might be something to pay attention to if we continue to see that dollar weaken and you can see we might have this well a good strong rebound in here we're dealing with some resistance this could still play out as a very weird looking head and shoulders top in here but if that dollar does weaken then watch for the opportunity here and i think we might be getting closer to a pretty good opportunity of buying coming in here on these bonds so watch that closely here and you could also look at like uh, bnd bnd you might prefer that also big strong rebound here um, in the last Oh, eight or ten days of trading so um, keep an eye on that JNK junk bonds might be another place to watch big strong relief rally back um, recapturing some trend and support in here on JNK so be worth keeping an eye on those take a look at um, some of the uranium plays out here now again if the dollar weakens look for uranium to push up and we saw some moves um, happening here in uranium take a look at you 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 nice little inverted head and shoulders pattern trying to show itself nice bullish candle there um, stocks like UEC trying to bounce back up just a little bit um, URA would be another one to pay attention to if it can break through this resistance here in the chart so keep an eye on those when we take a look at um, things in steel US steel is starting to show some signs here again if the dollar weakens we'll want to be paying attention to this but US steel pushing up here if you take a look back up above its 50 day it's challenging that 200 day here in the chart and consolidating if this can find those buyers again weakness in the dollar could inspire that that opportunity for that to push on higher i would keep that one on a list i like um, alcoa alcoa could be setting up in this resting pullback coming back into trend if we can find some support again the dollar if the dollar weakens look for that opportunity that we might find that next higher low here start pushing up toward these highs in alcoa um, keep an eye on things like steel dynamics which is really not looking good so if we see the dollar strengthen if we see the dollar strengthen this would be um, a place where i would favor a potential short if this we've broken this trend we've broken um, some supports in here if this rallies back up here and we see that dollar strengthen look for a possible short 
to come into play here on Steel Dynamics. Things like MT also, um, very, very weak. Any rally back in a strengthening dollar would likely send that lower. When we talk about some short trades out there, there certainly are some trades that are showing some considerable weakness here in the market. Um, and we'll have to be paying attention to that because when we see things like uh, Starbucks, Starbucks continuing to weaken, this is a very consumer based stock. That's not looking good at all. Uh, continuing to sell off, um, seeing weakness there. When we take a look at um, stocks like, um, oh, all of a sudden I just had a senior moment here, a Joe Biden moment, I guess. Um, um, JBL, JBL possible short setting up here running into trouble. There's quite a few of these that are looking pretty weak in places and look like they have that potential to move on lower. So watch several of those consumer-based stocks. Now, when I say that, we're not seeing that in Walmart. Walmart being very, very strong here, continuing to show lots of bullishness here in the chart. Nice little rest and consolidation going on in here. Look for that opportunity that that could move on higher. Uh, Costco, Costco trying to move on up here, looking good. But um, I finally remembered what I was going to mention, uh, and that's lows. Lows showing some weakness, rallying back to this downtrend. I think um, all we need is a little bit of a push and we could see lows continuing to fall home depot home depot also showing that potential weakness against some resistance here in the chart look for that opportunity that that could come back down here test these lows or maybe even make new lows if we continue to see that bearishness on the consumer side so watch those closely take a look at the financials boy those financials really had a good day yesterday pushing up tremendous anticipation coming into those reports um, coming up on Friday. But there's also some major concern building on these banks. So watch that carefully and be kind of, um, uh, well, if you trade this sector, just don't over trade this sector because we really could see some whipsaws in this on some of the data that looks like um, our banks are struggling a little bit more than we would probably like to see. So um, watch that carefully here. We did have that nice push up. This is a nice bullish pattern in here. What's going to be important is whether or not that can follow through today. Take a look at stocks like JP Morgan. JP Morgan showing lots of bullishness here, holding above this support, resting out here to trend. Excuse me. This is going to um, report on Friday, so kind of keep that in mind. Um, BAC, BAC, something to pay attention to as well. That is uh, made a new record high yesterday. Very, very bullish. Any rest consolidation might be something of interest in here for another entry. Remember, this is going to report early next week. So keep that in mind. Um, let's take a look at that energy sector. Um, energy continues to be quite interesting. Uh, we have stocks like um, EQT. EQT continuing to show weakness and failure. Um, if we take a look at um, ExxonMobil, ExxonMobil breaking back down through some support that it created. It still has a possibility in here that it could catch itself right in this area and create a little inverted head and shoulders pattern. Boy, I wouldn't hold my breath on that at the moment, but watch carefully in here with these oil numbers today. There could be some substantial movement in um, some of these oil sector stocks, so watch them closely. When it comes to this refiner, Valero, it's already made that decision. Um, we tried to get going in here, failed, crossed back down. Um, not looking good at all in that refining sector. So watch that. Um, let's take a look. Um, upstart. Upstart trying to break a downtrend in here. I would watch that carefully if that can hold that downtrend break. 
break through this resistance and hold that higher low, that might be of interest. Uh, TTD had a really great move yesterday, showing lots of strength. Any rest or pullback would set up an opportunity there. Um, TJ Maxx, another retailer, continuing to hold up really strongly here. That opportunity that this could find those buyers and step on through. Um, as you guys know, I've been following NetApp for a long time and we finally, finally got a nice move out of NetApp yesterday. A good pop. Now the question is, can it follow through? We'll have to wait and see on that. But we've been struggling so much with market breadth. Um, I'd be a little bit careful or it assuming that this is just going to take off to the upside until we get some of these data points out of our way. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for putting up with me in this stupid back and slow getting videos out and all of that. I do apologize. Hopefully I'll be... Um, healed up here soon and be feeling a lot better so y'all take care be safe wish you all the best and i will see you right back here bright and early thursday morning have a great day everyone